Hello everyone and welcome to another edition to Subscriber Sunday. I actually have a new person for you guys to follow. Um, his name is Lee, L-E, Contre79. Um, he has 416 subscribers. And he has 4,171 views and 33 vids. Um, I did some homework on this one. <laughs> um, but some of his titles that he actually does on his channel um, is Almost Losing My Religion, Being Gay in a Religious Environment. Um, he's done My First Heartbreak, Coming Out Story, um, Being in a Relationship Doesn't Mean Happiness. Um, so I suggest you guys definitely check him out. Um, I've been subscribed to him for a while. He now just subscribed to my channel and is watching my videos, so um, thank you for that. And um, definitely look him out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the links down below. And then also you can actually get to his channel right here, of course. And I'm actually going to, on the end of this, add one of his videos so you can actually see it for your, your own eyes. So, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm on vacation mode, so I still wanted to make sure I'm doing these videos for you guys. So, enjoy it. I love each and every one of you guys, as always. And who knows, maybe next week, you will be on Subscriber Sunday. Till then, take care, guys. Love you. It's me, Louis. All right, so Valentine's just happened, and I cried my my I cried my eyes out on Saturday night because I got a little bit too drunk, and it really made me think about like me being single and am I really depressed about being single since I've been single for about two years now, and um, it, it made me come with a question, and the topic of today's of this week's um, blog is going to be. Is being happy defined by being in a relationship? Because I find that most people feel that you're not happy unless you're in a relationship. Or that you're not fulfilled unless you're in a relationship. And I'd like to find out from you guys if you feel that that's true. And if so, tell me your thoughts on it. Because I came with a conclusion that that doesn't really define happiness. But as a society, I think that we do try to define it as, uh, as a you know, that, that does make you happy. Like, take it this way. I don't know if you guys have ever been out. You guys are out with friends. You know, you meet somebody new. You know, casual friendship, whatnot. And then you get to know each other. And then they ask you that big question. Oh, do you have a boyfriend? Or are you single? And then you tell them, you know, yeah, I'm single. And then almost the initial reaction that you get from a lot of people is, Oh, don't worry. You'll find somebody. And then it's like, what the fuck? Like, really? Like, I mean, are you telling me that I'm not going to be happy? That my life is going to suck if I don't find somebody? You know, and I think there's a lot of pressure in this world, you know, to try to be in a relationship. But at the same time, there's all these options and you don't know what to pick. And, you know, it's so easy to move from one person to the next. But for this, like, but it just seems like everybody's always looking to be in a relationship. You know, and I, th I thought about it, you know, and I did drink a lot on Saturday night and I, I got very teary-eyed. Actually, I kind of went a little bit emo. I'm not, I actually did a video and I'm not going to show you guys because I was a disaster, let's put it that way. And it was obviously, the alcohol had a lot to play with it. And then a lot of it also had to do with me questioning what was wrong with me because I was single. You know, and I was so devastated that on Sunday, you know, I, I spoke to some of my friends you know, and I, I got, you know, it made me feel better about myself. And then I, I really sat down and I'm like, am I really happy being single? And the answer to that is, for now, yes, I am. You know, and I, a lot of it has to do with the fact that I live with Jonathan. And we, um, we live together and we act like we're in a relationship. But what happens if he's gone? You know, that's really going to be so that's really going to test me if I'm really happy being single. Because right now I'm living like I'm in a relationship minus the sex. And minus him sleeping in my bed because that's not happening. Um, but you know, so I I thought about that, you know, and I am happy being I am happy being single. But the idea of being in a relationship really does make me feel like I want to be in one. And the thing is, this is like I look at people in relationships, and 
I'm sorry, but there's a lot of fucked up relationships out there, guys. You know, there's only one, and I'm going to give you a shout out because I truly believe in you guys. Nate and Kendra is the one relationship that I've seen that to me is like pure love. Like, that's like the model relationship that um, I would love to um, see, you know, that I, that I would like to be in because it's just such a beautiful relationship and they're actually getting married and they just love each other. You know, they miss each other. They're so cute together. You know, but I've seen a lot, aside from them, I've seen a lot of crazy, messed up relationships. And then I wonder, are you really happy in that relationship? So, it makes me question, you know, does happiness, is happiness defined by being in a relationship? Because, I, let me tell you, I have friends where their boyfriend's a deadbeat, doesn't do anything, they do all the work. Somebody obviously using them for money. You got the person that's adding threesomes into the mix and I have nothing without, uh, nothing wrong with open relationships but I do have a problem with one when one of the people in that relationship isn't okay with it but they're doing it just to please their boyfriend and because they're in love with their boyfriend you know when clearly the other person's not as interested but just wants them there for comfort so I'd like to find out your thoughts because I am happy being single but I will not I will not refuse a relationship. I, the idea of a relationship, uh, relationship to me is actually a very lovely one if it works and if you guys connect together as a unit. But I'm not going to uh, cry myself again, you know, like I did like, this past weekend. You know, I'm feeling sorry for myself for being single because I'm happy being single right now. You know, and I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Do you really feel that, you know, being in a relationship will define your happiness? And do you feel that society kind of almost forces that, that being in a relationship is the thing that you need to do in order to be happy like why don't you comment that like i would like for you guys to comment below and let me know what your thoughts are and tell me how your valentine's day went because mine was pretty good i hung out with my ex-boyfriend and his best friend and um the beautiful thing about it is that it really reconfirmed that i'm totally over my ex-boyfriend you know so and he was actually somebody that did break my heart um and I was able to move on and I can see him now and I'm okay with it. So that's the one positive thing that happened that I know that I'm completely over my ex-boyfriend and that I can hang out with him without a problem and I'm really good friends with his best friend so that's kind of cool. You know like his best friend is awesome actually. So shout out to you Garrett. <laughs> and um, but anyways let me know what you guys think. Tell me if you really do feel that being in a relationship will define your happiness. And do you feel that society makes us forces us into relationships because that's what you're supposed to do you know so let me know comment below like this like this um if you like it and subscribe if you can bye